just want to say, I fought a monkey for food and I won. Yes, I did. Hopefully that PSA kind of helps clear things up. We've been in Bali for a while, and you might be wondering, okay, so like, what are you doing in Bali? You haven't really seen much. So this time has really been used to catch up on work while we are in an affordable country, because next we are going to Australia and New Zealand. Just making sure that we are caught up on work. And then in the afternoons, we can go to the beach when we have a moment too. And the weather is nice, and the weather looks great today, so we are excited to go to a new beach today. And my camera has had enough damage done to it throughout this trip. I do not want anything else to happen to my camera, so I am not taking this camera to the beach uh, because I do not want to get sand in it. So, commence GoPro footage. Not GoPro footage in Bali. <laughs> okay, so where am I and why don't I have the GoPro footage here? <sighs> So I will be showing pictures of the beach here very shortly. I'm currently in my backyard here in Indiana. So when we had our hard drive crash, we were in the process of making a backup. And that is why like the middle part um, was lost and we did the lost episodes sitting down retelling our stories with Peter's uh, pictures and videos. And since Malaysia, we have been back to regular footage. However, I must have put the GoPro footage in a separate GoPro like folder and that folder did not make it before the crash happened. So it is lost. I am sorry. I will retell the story using Peter's drone footage and pictures. This was seriously like our favorite beach that we went to the entire time while traveling. It, it felt like it was in like exclusive beach. Most beaches that are this beautiful are completely crowded. And when we were there, I think there were probably like, I don't know, max 10 other people on the beach. And it was just amazing. Nanyang Beach, I probably said that wrong, um, but it's on the southern tip of Bali. And you actually kind of have to hike a ways, kind of like through the jungle to get to the beach. I was kind of nervous for like monkeys and things like that because we are deep in the forest. But the funny thing was, is like there were vendors along the way if you want to drink or food or something. Like they were like hiking down all of their goods down and then all the way back up. It's not the most difficult hike, but I wouldn't say it's a super easy hike either. We were just in our flip flops and we're kind of re regretting that decision, but like we didn't, we weren't going to wear sneakers because it's Bali and it's so hot. So, anyways, we get to where the overlook is and it is just breathtaking you have cliffs and beautiful greenery perfect sand with no trash unlike the kuda beach that we went to and the water was so blue it was just gorgeous now this was not really a beach i guess you would go surfing on um so maybe it wouldn't be your favorite beach if that's something that you're into it was just gorgeous. But I think the reason I liked it the best is because literally there was like no one there. 
and I decided to relax in the water for a little bit. Um, now this is where like it wasn't amazing to relax in the water because there were these little tiny iridescent bugs and I kept saying, Peter, I feel like I'm getting bit. I feel like I'm getting bit. And I finally saw these like little tiny bugs on me. And Peter's like, you're making it up. Um, but he actually did get a picture of my black bathing suit bottoms. You can see the bug and they were kind of not that fun. So again, if you like to swim, this might not be the beach for you. But my favorite part about a beach is when it's serene, quiet, able to lay on the beach and listen to the waves and so that's why for us this was our absolute favorite beach um, of our entire year of traveling there was even this old like shipwreck there and people had like graffitied over it lisa's climbing on top of the shipwreck there we go. trying to get a cool photo Got inspired by these guys. What? You comfortable? Comfortable enough. I don't know how to get down from here now. We tried to get some like epic pictures with me on it. Um, it did not turn out as nearly as cool or Instagram worthy as I was hoping for, but it was just amazing. of this boat and it just made it so unique and the fact that there was like no one there just was amazing and then after that we ended up hiring an uber um, to take us seven kilometers to Penang Yang Beach I think maybe I pronounced that completely wrong as well um, but that one is known for its sunsets and now that beach was also really pretty but there were a lot more people there. So for me, I didn't like it as much. Um, now they did have like a lot of rocks and stuff too, so it really wasn't great for swimming, but the pictures turned out gorgeous. down to the beach there was this guy selling some corn and it was amazing he put like this garlic on it it was so good and that was also the first person that asked us if we wanted some mushrooms i.e some drugs and so we just politely declined um, but somehow I still got a picture with him I don't know if he asked or what what I was thinking but there's a picture of me and the guy trying to sell us mushrooms I actually didn't end up finishing all of the corn because tragically a monkey tried to steal it. So my heart's still pounding a little bit. Um, so I was eating this, looking at the beautiful sunset, and next to me I look, and a monkey had just jumped. And the monkey had his back turned to, to me. So I just like I was like, oh goodness. And then that monkey had his back turned to me because he was buying somebody else's food at the bar. And so then he hopped up in the bar and was like showing his fangs. I'm like, you know, let's get out of here. And I started walking away and I was looking at that monkey. What I didn't realize was there was a second monkey and he apparently grabbed this. I didn't see it. My tendency would just like pull back. So Peter said that he saw this monkey pull it. By the time I realized there was a monkey there, it already pulled back. And Peter's like, you just bought the monkey for your food. And I was like, I don't know. So I'm eating. I'm going to eat like down to here, but then the rest of this I'm not even going to touch because that's gross. But this is such good, like it has garlic sauce on it. It's amazing and I'm super hungry, but I'm not going to eat any of it any of that. 
I just want to say, I fought a monkey for food and I won. Yes, I did. Yeah, so I felt really cool that I like beat the monkey and won. Like I was so <laughs> stinger proud of that. I'm like, I beat the monkey and won. But really, I was absolutely like freaked out. And now I'm like uber freaked out and just ready to give this cord away. Like I'm gonna put it in a trash can though because I do not want to. But I saw a person. I'm gonna <laughs> so freaked out so right now. So jumpy right now. You <laughs> see this, so, guys? I'm so jumpy. jumpy. <laughs> that was just a person walking up the stairs. I'm like, oh, it's a monkey it's coming for me. <laughs> What's my food here? Take it. So I just want to throw this away. Um. And then that way it can dig it out of the trash can because I don't want to actually feed it because that, that'll create a bad, bad habit. So it's digging out of the trash can. And after the beautiful sunset that we enjoyed there, it was time to leave. But we have quite an adventure trying to get back to our hotel. In fact, it is quite a big adventure that that needs a separate video. I will give you a sneak peek. I just did the dumbest thing of my entire life. Make sure to tune in to the next video, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you later. Bye. All right, so while I'm sitting in our backyard in Indiana in this travel video, I thought I would just leave a little uh, PSA. People have been kind of confused about why I'm posting in Bali when I'm actually in Indiana, and they're like, wait, I thought you were in Bali. Um, so we did have a hard drive crash and we spent five months trying to recover uh, over 70 days of lost footage. Uh, we were not able to successfully recover that footage and so we sat down and retold each and every day of our travel using Peter's pictures and our stories. And that ended up taking a lot more time than we thought. And that is why our travel videos are behind real time. So PSA, you can expect to see travel videos during the weekdays here on the Happy Happy channel and currently doing Saturdays as current event videos. Um, that schedule may change, but you can always um, check in our about section about when our posting schedule is and like what we're doing and stuff. So hopefully that PSA kind of helps clear things up. Um, but yeah, I love being able to share these daily travel videos with you and to show you the good, bad, beautiful, and ugly of full-time travel. I just saw a bunny and a squirrel. This is so awesome. And the birds are chirping. It's spring. <laughs>